Hey YouTube, it's your girl G and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'll show you how I turn my sketches into digital art. So I went ahead and sketched out this beautiful drawing as you can see here. I didn't do any inking on paper so it's just going to be pencil. So what you will do is take your image and then import it into your computer. I'm going to use my phone but you can scan it in if you want. So firstly, as you can see here, I'm inking the drawing I'm using Photoshop and I'm using the basic brush tool. Yeah, so I'm just going to speed this video up as I outline the rest of my drawing and we'll move on to color afterwards. Okay, so now it's time for us to add some color. Uh, this will, these will be the colors that I'll be using for my person right here. I don't like using the natural colors. I like to use the unconventional ones. So her skin color is going to be teal or blue, whatever color you like to call that. Um, yeah, so I'm using the magic wand tool just to select um, all the skin areas, basically her face, her nose and her mouth. I'm using the lasso tool to do like the specific areas. Yeah, and then I'll be coloring in her skin and her hair and all the other little areas and accessories and stuff like that. I think for the hair, we're going to go with pink because why not? And then the rest of the accessories will be either gold and yeah, just the little gold color that you see right there. And our background might be purple. So now we're going to add in some shadows. So basically, I color picked the skin and then brightened or darkened the color. So I darkened for the shadows and I brightened it for the highlights. Yeah, so for the shadows for the body, I just used uh, my image that I drew and just lightened the opacity just so I could see where the shadows would be and what I was thinking when I was drawing this I was like where's the shadows gonna be where the lights gonna be and all of that and feel free to just make your shadows more shadowy you know like here uh, by the ears I just made them a bit more darker than the other shadows Yeah, so this is where we're adding in our highlights. Um, the lighting is coming from right in front. So that's where our highlights are and the nose, the forehead, the upper lip, the chin, the front of the neck and obviously on our jewelry, but we'll see that ahead.
so we'll be doing the rest of the shadows I'll be doing the ones on her hair so we're just aligning that with the shadows on her skin yeah and just to make sure that the light is still coming from up front and yeah the, sh the rest of the shadows are just matching the lighting from the front Now we're going to add on the highlights on her glasses and her necklace. Her necklace is missing some shadows as well. So I'll just be adding highlights and shadows on her necklace. Now we're moving on to the background, I colored it purple and I'm using a darker shade of that purple just to see what type of shapes I can put in the background. Nothing too hectic, I'm just trying to figure out um, what brush would look nice and what kind of shapes I can do. I was feeling like doing maybe something organic, you know, circles and like rounded shapes. I'm thinking water, but we'll see as we move forward what what exactly is going to work and what isn't. I'm thinking maybe to like also just have it have the background come through onto our character here, but we'll see. So we're just finishing off our background. Um, I don't know if I like the background coming over onto our character. So we might just move it to the back. And I think I like that much better. Yeah, I'm just playing around, but like this. I really like this. So one more thing I forgot to add was the shadows underneath the glasses. Um, yeah, we're just touching up at this point, um, just adding in those extra details. And just like that, we are done. Um, yeah, so this is how I take my traditional drawings and turn them into digital artwork. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe. Let me know if you want me to do more of these. Let me know if you want me to be to do a more in-depth tutorial. I will try. But yeah, hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you next time. Bye.